Hi, I'm Michael Despezio, and today I want to explore how the next generation science standards addresses the concept of matter taking up space. And remember, that's found in many of the grade bands. It's a basic concept that students need to understand. Well, one way of introducing that is through a demonstration. And in fact, as you're watching this demo, you might see how it might be re-engineered into a student-directed activity. But more on that later. For the activity, all you will need is a sheet of paper, just like that, and a see-through plastic cup, and a bowl, perhaps two-thirds filled with water. First step is to take that sheet of paper and crumple it up into a ball, and place that, insert that into the cup just like this. Then, before inserting the cup into the water, ask the students, what do they think might happen to that paper if I place the cup into the water? Many will respond that the paper is going to get wet, but don't tell them the answer. They need to observe and discover what happens on their own, and so they can apply critical thinking skills to a very discrepant event. Here. Let's watch what happens. Great. Take a look at the bottom of the cup. You might even be able to see the water line. Once you take the cup out of the water, show the paper to the students. And note, it is dry. It did not get wet. Why didn't it get wet? Well, something perhaps was in the way. This cup, when I turned it upside down and placed it into the water, was filled with gas from the atmosphere. And as we know, gas takes up space, which prevented the water from entering the cup. And therefore, the paper stayed dry. What a great demo. And also, think of the ways that students might use this same activity, this same experience, in their own self-directed learning. Well, it's a great way of using an activity or a demo to introduce the disciplinary core ideas as presented in the Next Generation Science Standards.